The Israeli Air Force has pounded Hamas targets across Gaza, hitting over 50 targets in the past 24 hours. This says the army continues to facilitate the movement of civilians to safe areas and unlimited international humanitarian aid. There are no signs that the IDF plans to halt operations for Ramadan due to begin on Sunday. More on this from ILTV's Steve Leibovitz. War in Gaza, day 152. And across Gaza, the Israeli Air Force carried out strikes against more than 50 Hamas targets over the past day. The targets included rocket launching positions, weapons depots, tunnel shafts, and other infrastructure. Earlier, the IDF released video of the destruction and sealing of the largest Hamas attack tunnel found in Gaza, which the military initially revealed in December during its offensive against the Palestinian terror group and briefly reported on yesterday. Parts of the tunnel were blown up by combat engineers with the IDF and Defense Ministry later pumping concrete into the remaining underground passages. The IDF says its 98th Division, operating in the Hamad Town residential complex in southern Gaza's Khan Yunus, captured dozens of terror operatives. The division's commando brigade had been raiding Hamas sites in the neighborhood where troops seized a large amount of weapons. The army also facilitated the evacuation of civilians from the area and nabbed dozens of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad gunmen who tried to flee along with civilians. The United States military, in coordination with Jordan, Egypt, and France, airdropped more than 36,000 meals into northern Gaza, the second such delivery of aid that Washington has led since Saturday, when the U.S. dropped some 38,000 meals. The U.S. military said airdrops by the U.S. and other countries are aimed to provide essential relief to civilians affected by the ongoing conflict. The U.S. is urging Israel to maximize every possible means to boost aid to Gaza. Israel has to maximize every possible means, every possible method of getting assistance to people who need it. The United States will continue to strongly support those efforts, along with many other countries around the world. But it requires more crossings, it requires more aid getting in, and once that aid is in, it requires making sure it can get to the people who need it. So we will continue to press that every single day because the situation as it stands is simply unacceptable.